Are you struggling with your custom WordPress plugin not firing the REST API init event? You're not alone. Today, we're diving into this common issue and showing you how to troubleshoot it effectively. I totally get how frustrating it can be when your plugin seems to be activated, but the routes just aren't showing up. It's a common hiccup that many developers face, especially when working with WordPress. Let's look at the specific situation. One user asked, why isn't my REST API event firing in my custom plugin on WordPress version 474? They provided a code snippet and mentioned that even after activation, the routes were missing. Sound familiar? Let's explore this together. So what could be going wrong here? The REST API init event is crucial for registering your routes, and if it's not firing, it could be due to several reasons, including incorrect hook usage or issues with the plugin's loading order. And stick around. I have a valuable tip at the end that can help you avoid this issue in the future. To address the issue of the REST API init event not firing, the user should first ensure that their plugin is correctly set up and activated. This includes checking the plugin header information in the main plugin file. Next, the user should confirm that the add action function is being called properly. This means ensuring that the function register routes is defined before the add action call. The user should also verify that there are no conflicts with other plugins or themes that might be preventing the REST API init event from firing. This can be done by temporarily deactivating other plugins. Finally, the user can check the WordPress debug log for any errors that might indicate why the REST API init event is not firing. This can provide valuable insights into the issue. Fun fact, did you know that the first version of WordPress was released in 2003? It has come a long way since then, but some issues still feel like they belong to the early days. Now, let's look at the answers provided by other users. One user found that their callback method was private, which prevented it from being called. They resolved the issue by changing the method to public. They noted that on one installation, the private method caused an error, while on another, it simply wasn't called without any errors. This inconsistency puzzled them. Let's move forward and look at another answer. One user points out that they are not seeing the REST API init action being fired. They discovered that a specific condition in the plugin code is preventing this action from executing. The code checks if the REST route query variable is empty, and if it is, the function returns early, stopping the action from firing. Let's move forward and look at another answer. One user suggests a simple check. They recommend ensuring that your plugin is activated, as the REST API init event won't fire if the plugin isn't active. Here's the tip I promised. Always test your plugin in a staging environment before going live. This can save you from many headaches down the road. And there you have it. With these troubleshooting steps, your REST API init event should be firing correctly now. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more tips and don't forget to check out our next video for more WordPress insights.